Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com and GravesideEntertainment.com and this is a video response to a great group of guys I found on YouTube called the 16-Bit Brothers or as they call themselves, the 16-Bit Brothers um, they are a great UK group who does uh, video game like reviews and, and kinda like podcasts excellent stuff so um, their, their question on, uh, in their video was what is some of our favorite video, video game music I didn't realize I had so much of it and how many of my favorite titles actually um, shared having my favorite music as well. I mean, it makes sense because when you get into something and you are heartfelt about something or it evokes an emotion, most of the time, with me at least, music is fully or at least partially involved in that. So for me, uh, most of my favorite games have great music because I think they tied in well with the story or the things happening and uh, kind of became a, a complete package for me. So I'm going to start off with a few of the ones I really love. I'm just going to name them and then at the very end of the video I'll show, uh, I think on my TV screen, unless I find a better way, uh, some of the other examples of my favorite music that way you can hear some of it. it I'm going to try and show some of the stuff that's a little more obscure because some of the stuff I'm going to name first off uh, is either probably going to be well known or you could probably just look it up on YouTube. Um, First and foremost, the Silent Hill series. I have found all of the Silent Hill series have excellent, excellent music, uh, especially two and three. Two was eerie and great, and three had some uh, one or two really good pop things going on, but it was still creepy. Um, so much so that I added a lot of the Silent Hill two and three soundtrack onto my flash drive in my car for my rides to work, to and from work. So amazing. I mean, Akira Yamaoka who did uh, a lot of the Silent Hill series music and I'm sure other things I can't think of right now. Beautiful stuff, really eerie, really creepy, really sets the tone and puts you in the mood for the game. Um, lots of beautiful voice work as well, not just instrumentals. So, he doesn't, I don't think he sings, it's it's usually female, like I can't think of uh, the name of that singer though. Uh, as for older stuff, um, Chrono Trigger had some beautiful music that was really catchy for that time with the 16-bit kind of like you know, bips and bops types of thing, like MIDI, MIDI type sounds, uh, as did Earthbound. Earthbound had some really fun, interesting music that I loved uh, as a kid and I still do love and it's, those two games still stand out in terms of the music. Um, what else? The Suikoden series, I know I mentioned previously, they had uh, some really great music, uh, very whimsical and like fantasy-like, get you in the mood to do battle and, and stuff uh, along the lines of the Final Fantasy series. So. I really love the Suikoden series in terms of their music. It really stepped it up at that point for me with the PlayStation 1 um, games of, you know, 1 and 2. Let's see here. Um, these two were just kind of funny. River City Ransom and Double Dragon. I loved it as a kid that, you know, as horrible of a rendition as that was from River City Ransom. It just, just hyped me up. It was just such a fun little beat and you know what they had to work with that was pretty good and uh, Double Dragon with their their intro and and you know uh, and theme song when you first started the game after your girlfriend got punched in the gut and you had to chase down the bad guys just uh, really really cool stuff for what they did back with Nintendo music um, and one of my other favorites is The Darkness I think The Darkness series both the first and the second game have really wonderful music, um, a lot of metal, but a lot of really like softer stuff and, and sadder stuff too. Um, in the first game, it, it tied in one of the with some of the major uh, storylines. Uh, I don't want to say too much, I don't want to ruin anything. And in the second game, there was a really nice dream sequence where you're dancing with uh, with Jenny in a like a diner type place that she's working at, and. Uh, that song uh, had meant a lot to me, and I think it might even been in my wedding. So I really like that they uh, they put that in there. I'm trying to remember what it was actually, but I say it means a lot to me. And I can't remember the name of the damn song. Hold on, I I know Stella, I'm a bad husband. That's what Mama says too. Darkness two, music and diner. Hold on, I'll, I'll get it for you. Oh, no, that's not it. It's not Black Betty. Ah, uh, Black Buddy must be in there, but that's not that's not what I'm thinking of. Hold on. 
thought it was like Aiden Woman, like the one I got or something. Or I only have eyes for you or something. That actually wasn't in my wedding. But there was a lot of like really nice music in the Darkness games. Um, but especially the, the, the metal. The, be quiet, Jenny. The metal was amazing. They had some really great bands and one of my favorites, Mike Patton. So when he did the ending, the Darkness one with uh, Tomahawk with Captain Midnight, amazing stuff. Um, now I'm going to go through some of the uh, music I like from the other games that are a little more obscure maybe you might go really you picked that so I'm gonna film them on my TV so here we go this is another one of my favorite uh, tunes and another one of my favorite games with uh, great music uh, Deadly Premonition, it's on the 360, but it also has some kind of like special edition release coming out on the PS3. I don't know if that's out yet. This is really great whistling theme too, but this is just the intro theme I thought was really great. Creepy and kind of eerie, you know? But the whole album, the whole the whole thing is great. If they did a soundtrack, I mean, I mean they did a soundtrack, but if they put it out on the CD and sold it, it'd probably do well. The game's kind of like a... A Twin Peaks game with some Japanese flavor thrown in, but the music's just excellent. This is only one of the tracks. But some really funny tunes. One of my other favorites here is the Night Trap theme song. It is so bad and cheesy. It's so fucking funny. And when you lose, it plays. And when you're playing, this girl's, you know, lip syncing it too. They're saying Night Trap in the song, <laughs> which makes it even funnier. Switch on the Sega CD. This is one of my favorite um, soundtracks in a game. This is just so like ominous and deep and dark. It's creepy, like you know something fucked up's around the corner, but you don't know what's coming. Um, surprisingly, the uh, the whole soundtrack and the noises and stuff was done by Th Thomas Dolby from She Blinded Me with Science fame. Here's my final uh, favorite song, I guess you would call it, and I bet this isn't going to be uh, in there for many people. I love the Sega CD uh, Model 2 intro music. I've heard the Model 1 version, I thought it was pretty good, but I really love this song. I, I think it, it was just really cool to me when I was a kid. Uh, anytime this would pop up, you know, before my game started or if I didn't put the game disc in yet, I just thought it was a cool beat, you know? It, it sounded, and there's like, you know, I guess that's the earth in the background, and I don't know what planet that is. Things are spinning around and shit. I just thought it was awesome. And the beat, you know, I hear like a nice, it sounds like a nice dance beat or something. I, I it just, I always just knew something cool was gonna happen. So, that's my final uh, 
favorite song, which I guess is funny because it's not technically a game, it's, it's the, uh, the boot up screen. <laughs> so, thank you guys, 16-Bit uh, Brothers, for the question, great question, and uh, I hope to do some more video responses back and forth with you guys soon, you're awesome. Be good.